Daniel Costa for Fight Magazine here with Ryan Couture. Ryan, you got uh, your second fight coming up here in Strike Force. Uh, how did you feel your first fight went? Uh, you know, I didn't think it could have gone too much better. It's uh, always nice to get in there and get a quick finish, uh, especially for the first pro fight, get a lot of that pressure off my back. It was it was a huge relief just to get that first one under my belt. Uh, you don't have an opponent named yet, but uh, you know, what are you looking forward to doing in the cage? Uh, you know, just looking forward to a competitive fight. You know, a step up in competition. Uh, but someone's still kind of a logical progression, sort of on my experience level, and you know, just hoping to get in there and, and work on some tools and, and get some ring time. I, I mean, obviously getting a win is important, but I just want to go in there and get the experience too. Would you like to fight on a accelerated schedule? Uh, you know, pack a lot of fights into a year so you get that experience, or, or do you want to take you know good fights, you know, two three times a year? Uh, I think three at most four fights a year is good for me. I, I, I need a little time in between for my body to recover and, and mentally just to want to get back in the gym after after killing myself in there for eight weeks getting ready. Um, you know, I'm not in any hurry to get anywhere. So, you know, as, as long as the fights make sense, I'll, I'll take them as often as my body will allow me. Uh, what's it like to, you know, debut in an organization and already be on their main cards? Uh, it, it's great. I'm, I'm really happy about it. I, I think, uh, you know, obviously I have my old man to thank for that the last name to thank for that but but i really like it it's kind of trial by fire really it's a lot a little extra pressure than you know getting to cut my teeth on the undercard but but i welcome that challenge and you know so so far it's it's been a great experience uh, do you feel that gives you an extra edge that you know you want to let people know that you're you're a fighter on your own you know it doesn't have much to do with your dad it, it's your career yeah, you know, I'd be silly to deny that a lot of it has to do with, with Dad as far as the attention that I've gotten so far, but my job now is to get in the cage and, and show my skills and, and you know, show that I have a different skill set than he does, a different style that he does, and that, and that I'm worth watching on my own merits. Uh, you guys both got submission wins in your, in your last one. Uh, what would be the better submission, uh, your win or Randy Couture over James Tony? <laughs> it just depends on what you're into. I, I prefer the triangle choke to an arm triangle any day, but, but everybody's got their own taste. Gray Maynard quipped that uh, Randy shouldn't have got his black belt after after that. Do you agree? Uh, you know, he's worked a long time and has worked really hard with, with Neil on, on sort of building that system together. So I, I think that was a nice gesture, but but I, I think the timing could have maybe been better than... I think a lot of people almost thought it was a joke and that it was a shot at James Tony. But, but uh, you know, I think he definitely deserves it. But timing-wise, maybe it could have been better. Uh, Neil actually was joking that he thought about giving him a white belt with a couple of stripes on it after that fight. <laughs> Um, will you be showing Randy the uh, triangle choke anytime soon? Uh, I, I just don't see him really needing it. He's, he's not on his back too much. So, And if he is, he's wanting to get back up. But. And, uh, you know, what, what are some of your short-term goals and what are your long-term goals in, in this sport? You know, uh, really compare the two. Uh, you know, short-term, I just want to keep working hard, keep fighting, keep having fun, and, uh, and adding wins to my record. Uh, long-term, obviously, ideally someday I'd love to have a belt around my waist. So um, I'm, I'm a long ways from that, but, uh, but somewhere down the line in the distant future, that, that's the end game. Ryan Couture.